hello everyone welcome back to my space so today we are going to be talking about um, new moms and how to cope as a new mom especially if it is your first time so i come from a country where if you're a new mom you have so much support your mom your mother-in-law sisters-in-law everybody friends um they take turns to make sure that you're okay to you cope especially if it's your first time and um, we have a kind of a traditional requirements where they have to come over to your place and stay with you and make sure that you get incorporated into what you're doing and get well taken care of um so <laughs> i don't know if it is applicable in other areas of the world but someone like me i'm in another continent and um, here family is not around so i found it really hard coping in and you know having to adjust being raised in a place where i should have had all the support i needed at the back and core and at the tip of my fingers so if you're like me that you're far from home and you don't really have mom mommy law and everyone to you know take care of you and your baby extensively as it should have been then these tips are for you hello if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is precious um you're welcome to my channel um you know i'm in midwife i'm a new mom um in nigerian nurse practicing here in the uk and yes i'm currently a recent new new fresh mom of a beautiful handsome amazing son and it's been a long journey that i'm here to share my life experiences of the things i've been able to help me and on this channel we talk about growth development empowerment everything that makes you better and helps you achieve your maximum potential so of course i know this is something you will like so please do well to um like this video subscribe and share it to everyone that you know will benefit from it and do not also forget to click on the notification bell so that you will be notified of when we drop premium content for you so let's get right into the video tips on how we can navigate motherhood as new moms yeah so first of all i would say have a routine this really helps have a routine don't just say okay today i'm just going to whenever baby gives me time i'll do this no 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 don't do that remember that you have to take care of yourself to be able to take care of baby so have a routine and in that routine put yourself first yes put yourself first this may sound strange but what do i mean by put yourself first very early in the morning i noticed that even though they might not sleep at night very early in the morning babies are always sleeping most of the time so what worked for me was at this moment when he'll be sleeping i just rush into the bathtub have a hot shower take care of myself do my facials you know just make sure that i've taken care of my personal hygiene and get that out of the way i brush my teeth i take care of myself my face everything i need to do for the day put myself together and i'm ready to care for baby and immediately i'm done with my hygiene i get a quick breakfast and make sure i you know i have that strength this helps a lot because when you get that shower and everything it helps put you in the right state of mind because trust me taking care of a newborn is not easy is not um something you just you know do you need that strength that extra strength especially your mental health so when you get a shower and you eat you're setting up yourself right to start right for the day so this really really helped me so next on your routine i would say um just give enough space for baby um monitor your um child's um routine too they are going to keep changing but find out when does he sleep when does he eat when does he get hungry these are going to keep changing but at least within the space of time per moment you should know your child's routine because if you know the routine of the baby it's going to help you plan your own routine and then nothing i'm going to say is please make out time to do something fun for yourself like making youtube videos was um was is yeah it's something that is really helping me because this is something i love to do and being able to do it at this time is really really helpful because it still makes me feel like okay yes um nothing is wrong with you yeah okay you're fine because yes sometimes 
you can begin to feel very very funny yeah as you can see I, I, my baby's voice is everywhere in the background but i'm still going to keep making this video because i have to and i'm not going to say stop screaming and his voice is screaming out from the baby monitor but that's okay <laughs> you can still hear me so do not let um being a new mom stop you entirely there are some things that you might be you might not be able to do because you're still recovering but every other thing that makes you feel good that makes you happy that puts you in the right frame of mind if you love writing if you love singing if you love dancing do not stop these things go ahead and do them you might not do them on the social or larger scale but keep doing them to keep yourself in the right state of mind yes and um please um accept help every kind of help that comes to you from friends um your social you know environment if you go to church if you any religion that you practice um your gatherings and everything if they offer to help you please accept to be helped accept every form of assistance ask your husband or spouse for um little helps here and there please can you help me grab this please can you help me grab this please can you help me do this please can you make me a cup of tea please can you kindly help me hold the baby let me get to ease myself because if you don't train yourself to accept help you're going to break down this happened to me I didn't want to, you know, overburden anybody. I was just, you know, going ahead, ahead, and ahead. And before you know it, I've gone days and days and days without getting any form of rest at all. And it began telling on my health. Another way, another very important thing is please take some vitamins and make sure you are eating because you are going to be very occupied that if you're not careful you would go days without eating anything you won't even feel hungry because you'll be so satisfied with your baby especially if it is your first time that you would not even be able to eat anything so please please get vitamins if you need to take your vitamins and make sure you eat you don't need to wait until you're hungry enough to eat a large bowl of you know food little bites here and there just keep making sure that something is going into your system and when you have the time get a good meal for the day but constantly energize yourself and keep your system nourished and then very importantly to stay hydrated drink a lot even if it's not water take um not carbonated drinks please take um fresh fruit juices anything that you can take you know warm milk cold milk whatever works for you but make sure that there's a lot of fluid going on in your system especially if you have breastfeeding you don't even want to ever risk being dehydrated Why breastfeeding it can be Hmm. I don't want to talk about it. So please stay very very hydrated Keep an eye on your food on your water and as much as possible get some rest There's this stuff that works for people. It didn't really work for me sleep while baby is sleeping This is a very important thing. Please if you can always sleep while baby is sleeping because you might not when when you would want to sleep he or she might not be in the mood to sleep at that time so the best thing is to you know routine yourself to begin to sleep whenever they are sleeping so that you don't totally run dry and out of energy so get your energy high by starting your day by having a shower eating something quickly while baby is still having that very early morning nap then routine yourself according to baby's routine get something very healthy to eat at least hourly put something in your mouth especially if you're breastfeeding stay very hydrated and then sleep while baby is sleeping and also continue doing whatever makes you happy keep in touch with friends with family accept help like someone like me i'm far from home so i make sure that every day i video call my mom i ask her everything always ask questions that's another very helpful tip out there always ask questions do not 
not feel oh i'm going to look so stupid please ask questions no matter how even as a nurse i've taken care of other babies but when it comes to your own baby is different so i kept calling my mom every time her phone would ring i would say oh mom what's this ah, i just saw this on baby's body what could this be i'm on google i'm typing i'm on nhs so please what is this this what is making researches and getting knowledge yes because you need to know all these things you need to know because you can go i i when i wasn't really asking enough i was putting myself into undue stress panicking for maybe ordinary rash that was just due to weather change and before you know it i'll blow it out of proportion and i'm worrying and walk up i can't even eat and babies because these babies know when you're stressed and they begin to also become stressed and agitated so whatever seems strange to you ask the midwife ask your mom ask your sister ask a more experienced person make researches make sure you get information because information is power when you are properly informed you know what to do next and if possible this tip is very very important find a community of other new moms that can support you nowadays there's a lot of online you know applications there where you can meet new moms that are also first time moms some are experienced um here they share their concerns if you have something bothering you the way you're feeling you can ask questions and someone that have been through that also gives you ideas and tips of how they were able to like you know navigate through that phase or through that season so do not just stay on your own and lock yourself up because maybe you're not in your family zone you're just going to break down so go out there ask ask questions and um if you are lucky you are in a good season maybe summer or it's not really cold out there even when it's cold you can cover baby properly and take a short walk so make sure you get some fresh air very important there is a relationship between depression especially with new moms and staying indoors throughout without getting any breath of fresh air um it is not really good for you get some fresh air it keeps you refreshed it keeps Keeps you vitalized it may helps you clear your head you can take a walk in the park with your baby yes and your spouse if they are available anybody available or just you and the baby just cover them with an extra layer of clothes and you are okay to take a walk with the baby a short walk and you're back into the house you know you can take a few short walks a day um you can take one walk depending on your strength and the weather so just make sure that you know you don't just leave yourself it's not an automatic um um how would i put it transitioning you need to help yourself you need to equip yourself with the mental strength with the physical energy with emotional support you need help and please 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 for those in countries that um the government made provisions for um a kind of support for mothers and newborns please get as much help as you can if you need it those things will help you you know navigate through motherhood successfully as long as you don't ignore yourself because you can't take care of baby if you ignore yourself and break down so please remember all these points remember that you have to get yourself a daily routine shower eat first keep putting things in your mouth every hour stay properly hydrated keep doing what you love doing get help accept help i am um, from your spouse from your friend from community anybody that is willing to help you know make sure that you are speaking out if you don't understand anything ask your mom ask your midwife ask the doctor ask anybody available that has more experience than you go to um go to government owned you know medical websites like the nhs and ask questions you get answers you could just make sure that you keep yourself informed you know take short words get fresh air make sure that you're taking care of yourself because you are not going to be able to take care of your baby and your family remember that being a mom didn't stop you from being a wife being a mom didn't stop you from being yourself you you were yourself first before you became a wife before you became a mom um even for those that are not yet into um maybe a 
home system you still have to take care of yourself and your baby and every other thing in your life yes you might not be working immediately but you still have to you know keep yourself fit to get back to work and all that so prioritize yourself and make sure that you're getting the best help and assistance you can get and if there is any assistance available please take it do not feel less of yourself for asking for help you need all the help and care and pampering that you deserve because it is not easy your hormones are doing a lot and your system is doing a lot and so if you're a new mom watching this i want to say congratulations and um, if you're a mom watching this and you're expecting um if you're a woman watching this you're expecting to be a new mom soon i also want to say congratulations in advance please rewatch this video again and make sure that you prepare yourself with this point and if you're already a new mom please do these things and make sure that you prioritize yourself your mental health and your physical health so that you can take care of baby as much as possible are there topics that you want us to talk about about caring for babies and motherhood please you can drop them in the comment section suggest topics um do you have experiences as an experienced mom and you want to share with others you can you know reach out to me we can do a video and you can talk to us about motherhood so please take care of yourself until you see my face next time you deserve the best you deserve to be happy you deserve to be celebrated and i am saying you are celebrated congratulations and for those of us that are waiting for the fruit of the womb may god grant your heart desires amen 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 see you soon bye bye